All right, gamers, the time has finally come. I am so excited for Thor and her refine. Oh! World Breaker Plus is already so freaking god tier, it's ridiculous. I'm so excited about that. I don't even care that we got guard bearing for. I don't care. Uh, respectfully, I'll probably just put aerial maneuvers on her or something. But that's neither here nor there. Be oh, nope. Because oh, it's long. That's a long weapon. All right, we got slaying. We're effective against armors. At the start of the combat, the unit's HP is granted with twenty five percent. Grants attack plus sixty unit. Inflicts attack minus six on foe. Unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Deals damage equal to 15% of the unit's attack. True damage! Let's go! Uh, neutralizes foe's bonuses. And enables Kanto 2. I've only read the first half of it, and it's already the best refined in the batch, hands down. Straight up. Okay. At start of combat, unit's HP is going to be 25%. Grants attack plus 60 in it. Inflicts attack minus 6 on foe. And reduces damage from foe's attacks by 15% of the unit's attack during combat. And unit's next attack deals damage equal to the total damage reduced from foe's first attack. And also when special triggers neutralize the foe's reduced damage by X. So just straight up damage piercing. That's tight. I like that. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Oh my god, my queen. Oh my god, she's good, chat. Bro. Bro. She's actually good. I'm so happy. Alright, I'll... I, I'm immediately wanting to build her. I'll build her later. Let's look at Shamir. Uh, who I've gotten offhand enough times to plus 10 without trying to. <laughs> so I'm... Ooh, her refine is kind of... Eh, it's not that lengthy. It could be longer. Uh, I'm hoping hers is also good. Accelerates special trigger. Defending against flyers. If unit initiates combat or a number of allies adjacent to unit is less than or equal to 1. Grants attack speed plus 60 unit. And grants special cooldown charge minus 1 to unit before unit's first attack during combat. And also, if foe's HP is greater than equal to 50% uh, of the start of combat, foe cannot counterattack. Hmm. Okay. At the start of turn, if unit's HP is greater than equal to 25%, inflict speed defense minus 7, and sabotage on closest foes and foes within two spaces of those foes through their next actions. At start of combat, if unit's HP is granted equal to 25%, grants attack speed plus 16 unit, neutralizes unit's penalties to attack speed, and deals damage equal to 20% of unit speed during combat. Also very good! Uh, I may trade fruit mine to be plus speed, just because she's got speed dependent true damage. But that's awesome! Okay. Alright. W. Hip iron. Oh, wait. Hold up. I might as well. I have the do. I have the do. You know what I mean? Hip iron! Oh, hell yeah. Hip iron! Like a. Because he's a pot. Anyway. Uh, Sky Pirate Claw. We've got Slaying. If number of adjacent allies or other than beast. Uh, other than beast or dragon allies is less than or equal to 1. Or if unit is transformed, grants attack speed plus 5 to unit and inflicts attack minus 5 on foe. 
I don't feel like the speed buff is going to help, but okay. Ian makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Again, the speed is redundant. Uh, reduces the percentage of foes non-special reduced damage by X percent skills by 50% during combat. And restores 7 HP after combat. At start of turn, if unit is adjacent to only beasts or dragons, uh, unit transforms. If unit transforms, unit can move one extra space, and you get attack plus two. Uh, at start of turn, if unit's HP is going to be 25%, inflicts speed defense minus seven, exposure, and frozen. I'm fairly confident that Frozen is the skill that got introduced with uh, Summer Freed a couple months ago. Uh, or not the skill, the status effect. On closest foes and foes within two spaces of those foes through their next actions. Very cool. As star of combat, the unit stays to be the 25%. Grants Omnibuff of 5. Deals damage equal to 15% of the unit's attack. And neutralize effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. Bro. Yup. Love that. Alright, I'm three for three. I'm three for three. Jill? Fizzy? What you got? Slaying. Uh, if unit initiates or is unit is within two spaces of an ally, got attack speed plus six. Uh, grant special cooldown charge uh, plus one to unit per attack during combat. If unit initiates combat, unit can make a follow up attack before foe can counter attack. Why do you want the new Ninja Tharja when you have Ninja Tharja at home? In the four star special. <laughs> uh, okay, for the record, because I know some people are going to be mental about this. They are different, clearly, but she has the thing that. Anyway. Uh, enables Kanto Rem plus one. At start of turn, if unit is within three spaces of an ally, with range equal to one. Grants attack speed plus six. The unit can move one extra space. And null follow-up to unit and allies within range equal to one. Uh, within three spaces of unit for one turn. Okay. That's kind of an odd conditional. If she is within three spaces of an ally who has a range of one. <laughs> Sure. Uh, overall, I think that's a really easy one. I just think it's kind of an odd conditional to have. Uh, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grant stack lead plus 16 and deals damage equal to 20% of unit speed, bro! What is with all these true damage refines, my dude? Why are we just out here absolutely thriving? Uh, now, while there are winners, there must also be losers. I'm looking at you, Oter. I'm looking at you. Attack plus three. Canto 3, during turns 1 through 4. What an L. Uh, if unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack plus 60 unit, inflicts attack minus 6 on foe, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, and foe cannot make a follow-up attack during combat. Okay. And also, when unit's special triggers... Neutralize the foes, reduces damage by X percent skills. Okay. At start of turn, if unit is within, uh, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, Grant's unit cannot be slowed by terrain. Okay. And incited to unit and allies within two spaces of unit for one turn. Oh! Oh! 
trying to step on my Desert Lynn's territory with this whole can't be slowed by terrain nonsense, huh? Okay. I see you, O-Tur. O-Tur, am I right? Uh, at start of combat, if unit's speed is greater than equal to 25%, grants attack defense res plus 5 to unit, inflicts penalty on foe's attack defense. He was with the current bonus of each foe's stats times 2. And his damage equal to 20% of units defense again with the true damage refines, bro. That's crazy. Uh, all right. Am I ever going to need to use him? Probably. He's fine. All right, Guinevere. Grants res plus three. Effective against foes. Ma um, effective against magic foes. Restores seven HP to unit and allies within two spaces of unit after combat. Uh, if unit initiates combat or if unit is within two spaces of an ally, you get an omni buff of five. Disables foes effects that calculate damage using lower of foes defense or res. Unit deals X damage. And reduces damage from foes first attack by 40% of X or in combat. Where X is equal to the highest total bonuses among unit and allies within two spaces of unit. Uh, at start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of an ally. Grants speed res plus six and neutralizes penalties on foe during combat to unit and allies within two spaces of unit for one turn. Uh, if foe initiates combat or foe's HP is granted equal to 75% at the start of combat, grants attack speed, defense risk plus 5 to unit during combat, or to unit, neutralizes effects that infect special cooldown charge minus X on unit, and inflicts special cooldown charge minus 1 on foe per attack during combat. Okay. I will be honest, I couldn't care less about that. What I mostly now want to know about is Dithorba. Because she's free. And I remember when she came out, she actually had a fair amount of praise. But, that was over a year ago. So, times may have changed, is what I'm saying. Heavenly Icicle. It's going to inflict speed defense minus 5 on foes within 3 rows or 3 columns there and on unit. Those foes cannot make a follow-up attack, and those foes suffer guaranteed follow-up attacks during combat. Uh, at, start of, at start of combat, if unit's HP is going to be 25%, inflicts attack minus 5 on foe and reduces damage from foes first attack by 40% during combat. Okay. You're getting Kanto uh, Rem 1. If unit initiates combat or is within three spaces of an ally, you're inflicting attack speed defense minus five on foe, neutralize the foe's bonuses to attack speed defense, and unit deals plus X times four damage. Where X equal the number of allies within three spaces. Uh, of unit plus number of foes within three spaces of target. A max of 16. Which makes sense. So 12. Uh, yeah. Okay. Four times four is 16. I mean, she's free. Right? She's a free unit. What were we expecting? Not much, but I'm always hopeful. And I'm sure to the seven or so Dithorba fans out there, uh, they were also very hopeful. I think it's fine. I think overall, in general, this is a really good batch of refines. Pretty much everybody got something true damage related outside of Dithorba, I think. Uh, based on a stat, for the most part. Which is great. My lineup here is so cool. Uh, I am looking forward to building all of these, to be honest. 
I'm pumped. Uh, if you want to see what I do with my Thor, uh, be sure to come back to the channel at some point in the near future. A couple days or so, I'm going to build her. Make her better, faster, stronger than she ever thought she could be. Uh, and maybe my Tibarn, too. Because I, I genuinely, I really like Fire Tibarn. He also drinks... I'm assuming that's rum. But for my own benefit, I'm going to say it's bourbon. Because this is my head cannon. Uh, anyway, that's it. I think they're all good refunds. And that's all I got for you.